ask those ones that have gone on a long time ago, and those ones yet to come, that they keep an eye over all the events that will happen for the rest of this month, and they keep everyone safe. That everyone each day and night gets back to those that love them. Those people that wait for them every evening, for them to come home healthy and safe and loved. This is what we ask for today. And uh, for this I ask this in the name of the Creator and all those that have gone on before us and all those are yet to come. We'll light the sage for a moment, let some of that medicine rise up into the air, and then we'll let you carry on with your party tonight. It was a very proud 
moment for many of our LGBTQ members, and for some, a moment we thought whether was inconceivable. And tonight, we are celebrating with you, our community. Thank you, thank you for coming, and thank you for celebrating with us. Happy Pride, everyone. Safe, fun 
fun-filled, fabulous Pride Month. Thank you very much, and happy Pride. And now I'm going to ask Mark, uh, Chief Mark Saunders to, to come up and say a few words. Take my hat off. <laughs> Stuff me in here. Uh, Chair Pringle, Command Officer, Senior Officers, Officers, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you so much for being here at 40 College Street to celebrate with us. First and foremost, happy pride to everybody that is here. And I want to say, first off, thank you so much for the feedback. Thank you so much for all of the support that you have given me, that you have given to the men and women in the Toronto Police Service. I can't begin to thank you. is that the relationship between the Toronto Police Service and the LGBTQ community is not broken, is not fragmented. It is very strong, it is very robust. But the promise that I'm making to you is, we now have an opportunity to make it even stronger than it ever was before. And I think this is what the exciting part is. Any journey that's worth taking, you have to go through those bumps. And we're going through some bumps right now. But these bumps are going to give us an opportunity to learn, to understand, to talk. Whether we like it or not, there still are some segments of our community that are afraid to come forward. And my concern is that they could be victimized. And if we are going to do our job right as law enforcement, community safety is for everyone. Anyone that lives, plays, or works in the city of Toronto should never ever be afraid. Should be able to navigate the city just like anybody else. And so in order to get this right, we need to have the opportunity of sitting down and having those conversations with the right people so that we can make this work. And that is what my plan is. That is what I plan on doing, moving forward on this particular journey so that we can get it right. And getting it right means not making it better, but making it great, because we are already fantastic right now. So I'm looking forward to those conversations that I've been promised. And I'm looking forward to listening, I'm looking forward to working, I've got some of the best teams in the world here to work with me, Danielle and her crew. And Danielle, you have a fantastic job. Thank you so much. Thank you. But I think this is going to be an exciting time. And I do look forward to having these conversations, having more opportunities, and having these moments where we can let the rest of the world know why Toronto is the envy of the world. So thank you so much for being here. I hope everyone has a great time at the Mingle today, and thank you for coming. Thank you, Chief. Now we've come to the part of the evening where we'd like to recognize our three LGBTQ youth anniversary recipients. In 2009, the Toronto Police Service LGBTQ Consultative Committee established an LGBTQ youth anniversary. Membership of the LGBTQ CCC is volunteer-based and drawn, drawn from various organizations within the LGBTQ community that reflect the diversity within the community. The mandate of the LGBTQ CCC is to work together in partnership with community representatives in identifying, prioritizing, and problem-solving of policing issues. The bursary awards are an opportunity for the LGBTQ CCC and the Toronto Police Service to recognize achievements made by the LGBTQ youth in the City of Toronto and support these youth in overcoming the very real challenges they often times face. This year's recipients will each receive a thousand dollar bursary. Once I read the recipient, read the recipient's short bio, I ask that they attend the podium area to receive the reward. Um, I will also ask that Chief Saunders Civilian co-chair of the LGBTQ CCC, Christine Newman, and Superintendent Ferguson to please attend the podium area to help hand out the awards. We have three recipients, like I said. Unfortunately, I got a call an hour ago. One of our recipients is currently in the hospital. He will be okay when his mother contacted me. Unfortunately, will be hospitalized till Sunday. 
I think it's still very important to acknowledge uh, this individual and the work that he's done. His name is Adam Blank. He is currently attending York University, completing a specialized honors BA in sociology. Adam is currently in the final year of their undergraduate degree. Adam is hoping to pursue a Juris Doctorate degree upon completing their undergrad or gain admittance into the social justice education program at Noisy. Adam continues to volunteer to be an advocate for social injustice within the black community and the LGBTQ. She happily dedicates her time to social justice initiatives, primarily focusing on making safe spaces for LGBTQ in the City of Toronto. Her experiences with LGBTQ and Planned Parenthood Toronto have led her to meet like-minded people who combat oppression every day with programs that educate and bring people together. She is very humbled to be receiving this bursary and extends the recognition to all her fellow LGBTQ activists and friends who do amazing work towards equity. As a part of this powerful community, she hopes this is the only the beginning of a long journey towards anti-oppression, which is everyone a happy pride. Congratulations. Thank you. Unfortunately, our third recipient can also not be here today, Rohit Shares, but they have sent a friend to get. Uh, is there a Sanja Pradeep? Thank you, Sandra. <laughs> so, Rohit currently attends Seneca College and identifies with him, he, him, they, them pronouns. Rohit works part time as a peer educator with Alliance for South Asian AIDS Prevention, is also a volunteer with Inside Out and the Lee Rose of Seneca. <laughs> 